Welcome to this Tutor to You revision video that looks at the different characteristics of the hot desert biome. This is part of Paper 1, Unit B, The Living World. We are going to start off by talking about where the hot desert biome is located. Hot deserts are found between 20 and 30 degrees north and south of the equator. They cover approximately 14% of the global land surface. The largest hot desert in the world is the Sahara Desert in northern Africa. It covers around 9 million square kilometres. Other hot deserts include the Arabian Desert in the Middle East, the Kalahari Desert in southwestern Africa, the Atacama Desert in Chile, the Australian Desert which covers huge areas of the country, the Tar Desert in India and Pakistan, and the Chihuahuan, Mojave and Sonoran Deserts, which all make up part of the Western Desert in the southwestern USA. Hot deserts are bordered by semi-arid areas, such as the Sahel region that crosses northern Africa, south of the Sahara Desert. These semi-arid regions are at risk of desertification. Let's take a look at the climate in the hot desert biome. Hot deserts are extremely arid with less than 250 millimetres of rainfall per year. Annual precipitation totals are extremely low in hot deserts, but they are also unreliable too. There are some parts of the Atacama Desert in Chile where it hasn't rained for 400 years, whereas other areas may only receive one millimetre of rainfall per year. Usually, hot deserts receive around 100 to 200 millimetres of precipitation annually. Hot deserts are where we will find our highest temperatures on Earth. The highest ever recorded temperature is 56.7 degrees Celsius. This was recorded on the 10th of July in 1913 at Furnace Creek Ranch in Death Valley. This is in the United States and you can see a picture on the screen. The location of hot deserts can be largely explained by global atmospheric circulation. At these latitudes, air that has risen at the equator descends, forming a persistent belt of high pressure. This explains a lack of cloud and rain. Cloudless skies lead to high levels of insulation during the day, resulting in extremely high temperatures. But the lack of cloud cover also means temperatures can plummet to below freezing at night during the winter. Hot deserts experience a huge diurnal temperature range. This is a difference in temperatures between day and night and it can exceed 35 degrees. We're going to round off the video by looking at the soils found in hot deserts as these are extremely important in dictating the vegetation found in this biome. In hot deserts, soils tend to be sandy or stony with little organic matter due to the general lack of leafy vegetation and water. This means that they are not very fertile. They are formed mainly by weathering which creates deposits of sand and other loose material. And they are usually around a metre deep, apart from where sand dunes have been able to form, enabling deeper soils to potentially develop. However, sand dunes are not classed as soils because they lack organic matter. Hot desert soils are dry, but they can soak up water rapidly after rainfall. However, this water will evaporate quickly. Evaporation draws salts to the surface, often leaving a white powder on the ground. This means it's extremely difficult to farm in this region. However, some desert regions, irrigation has been used to make land productive for agriculture, for example, the Tar Desert in India and Pakistan. That concludes this Tutor to You revision video focusing on the characteristics of hot deserts. Thank you for watching.